Howdy, friends. Uh, I have decided to resume cannabis consumption after a five and a half month layoff when I did not use any at all. I still am done with the smoking, <laughs> vaporizers, puffing, bongs. Uh, no, no more, no thanks. None of that for me anymore. My lungs, <laughs> 43 years of pot and five years of cigarettes. I had enough smoke going in these lungs, believe me. <laughs> Okay, but I resumed edibles yeah, yesterday, two days ago, and I'm doing them at the rate of about 10 milligrams a dose now, maybe twice a day at the most. That's my limit. In the old days, I did three or four 30 milligram doses every day. So 100 to 110 or so do, uh, milligrams of cannabis every day. And now I'm down to 10 to 20 a day. So much reduced, but I still get great benefits from it. And I'm going to have a debate right now with Charles Bukowski, who's dead, of course. Uh, he drank too much. But he's defending alcohol as being an alcoholic. I was an alcoholic for 20 years. If I had not quit being an alcoholic, I would be dead today. Dead. Dead. I was headed down that road. My brother died early from alcoholism. So let's watch Charles Bukowski. And I'm going to speak for him because if I play his voice... This video will be blocked because it's copyrighted video, and uh, I can't use that. So I'm going to go ahead and speak for him, but you can read along with me. And here he is uh, guzzling away. Uh, there's a bottle of beer right there you can see, and he's drinking away. And I'll speak for him, and then I'll pause him now and then and debate. Cricket's chirping. Crick, 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 crick. Interviewer, what do you think of the drugs that you got involved? Ah, my favorite subject, he chuckles. Mm. <laughs> I think a man can keep on drinking for centuries. Not true. It's my words. He'll never die. Yes, he will. Especially wine and beer. Well, if you're going to drink, drink wine and beer. I agree with that. But I've met too many young people especially when I was working for Open City, just smoking marijuana within a two-year period, who were intelligent at first, and after two years of marijuana, they just came around like, hey, hey, how you doing? Okay, I'm gonna pause right here and make a comment. Uh, People that, young people especially, that smoke a lot of marijuana, a lot of it, that's not a good thing. It's not good for anybody. If you're smoking what in the old days probably mostly was indica, it's going to make you kind of numbed out and dumbed down. And especially bad weed will do that. If you're smoking quality cannabis and you know the difference between a sativa hybrid and an indica and you use it moderately, you're not going to have that, hey, hey, dumb down, man. But I get where he's talking about. I get where he's coming from, what he's talking about. I've seen that. I've been like that myself. It can diminish your uh, brain capacity a little bit. If you do too much pot, for sure. It'll make you forgetful, make you kind of sleepy a little bit, make you a little foggy. And uh, so I wouldn't recommend a steady diet of it all the time, especially not alcohol either. But he seems to think alcohol is the thing. Let's, let's go on with this, see where he goes. says that marijuana is very ultimately destructive. And then finally, there will be government studies to prove that it's totally harmful. In fact, the government studies prove that it's not harmful that much, that it, it really can only screw you up if you do a, smoke a lot of it, use a lot of it, especially before you're age 20, 19. It's not so good for developing brains. And that's it. There's really not been determined there's any great harm from it if you use it in moderation. And nobody's advocating drinking all the time like Mr. Bukowski does, but he seems to think drinking all the time is a good deal. And so there's been no studies proving that it's totally harmful. In fact, almost all studies today conclude alcohol is on the far end is the most damaging, most harmful drug there is, whereas cannabis comes way lower on the list. It has many medicinal uh, potentially helpful medicinal benefits cannabis does, not alcohol. Let's go on with this. So he says, it's much more harmful. And I've seen it through people. 
He says he's seen it through people. They just end up, hey, hey. I don't like that. I like drunkards, man, because drunkards, they come out of it and they're sick. And they spring back. They spring back and forth. But even the light drug freaks, they're just, okay, okay. Now, when he says light drug freaks, I assume he's talking about marijuana because the heavy drug freaks are heroin, speed, uh, heavy barbiturates, um, you know, cocaine. These are your heavy drugs, damaging drugs that will really screw you up. And I can testify to that because I've done those too. And they're bad news, bad news. The alcohol is the worst. Destroys your liver, destroys brain cells, especially when you drink to excess. Alcohol is just so bad. So Bukowski's way off base here of being, you know, harsh about marijuana being a really damaging, uh, dangerous drug. I don't buy this at all. Let's go on here. He says, all the spirit's been cut off. I've met good old alcoholics, you know, the old guy, Jim. I don't know if he's in. Uh, yeah, he's in port. He was a great old guy, got drunk every night, but his face was human, you know. He'd talk to you, he'd say, well, Hank, he'd talk a definite language. These other, you know, these kids, yeah. They're so, so yeah, I'm anti-drugs, puts me down. It's a very, very lousy way to go. So he's saying, Bukowski's saying this, that drugs are a real bad way. Just out of what I've seen. Of course, he's an alcoholic. He's seen it through alcoholic eyes. Be an alcoholic. If you got to be anything, be an alcoholic, he says. What can you dream, the interviewer asked. Alcoholism, well, or drunkenness, inebriation. If I hadn't been a drunkard, uh, I probably would have committed suicide long ago. That's what he's saying. You know, work in the factories, the eight-hour jobs, the slums, the streets, okay. You work a goddamn lousy job, you know. You come home at night, you're tired. What are you going to do? Go to a movie, turn on your radio in a $3 a week room? Uh, or are you going to rest up and wait for the job the next day for $1.75 an hour? Hell no. You're going to get a bottle of whiskey and drink it. And go down to a bar and maybe get in a fist fight and meet some bitch, something's going on. Then you go to work the next day and you do the simple little things, right? But you're not, not gonna just do your eight hour job and go back to your place in a bicycle factory. The guy told me I was working in a, he said, you can have a job here all you like if you want. Great, wow. I mean, alcohol gives you the release of the dream without the deadness of drugs. You know, you can come back down, you can have your hangover to face. That's the tough part. Yeah, no kidding. You get over it, then you do your job, you come back, you drink again. I'm all for alcohol, I'll tell you. It's the thing. All right, I gotta hold it right there, Mr. Bukowski. You're just dead wrong, I gotta tell you. I love your poetry, I love your stories, you're a great writer, but man, you're so off base when it comes to this. Alcohol doesn't do anything to enhance your life or your dreams. It ruins the body, it ruins the brain, it ruins the spirit. That's why they call them spirits. Not because they're a positive spirit thing, but they're the evil spirits. Alcohol, you know, I, I, I would actually, honestly, truthfully, be in favor of prohibition and get rid of all alcohol. But I know that will never happen. They tried that in America, did not work. Too many people like it, okay? So I'm not advocating that. I, I think if you like your booze, go ahead and drink up. I know I'll never drink again. I'm healthy now at 70. Pretty soon I'll be past the age Bukowski died and I'll be going on living much longer probably than he did, barring any unforeseen accident because I'm in good health now. My health was declining so rapidly when I drank alcohol even at the age of 40, I was just about to die. And I was suicidal too, and alcohol was part of the problem. So I'm a very anti-alcohol guy, as it were, not, not bashing alcohol, drinking for anybody else. I'm just saying for me, it's definitely not anything I'm gonna touch again. The cannabis, I will use it mindfully and thoughtfully and consider that my dosage is important and when I use it and how I use it is very important. And I don't use it every day either. 
and I think Bukowski drank just about every day, it seems to me. So there it is, my debate with Charles Bukowski. Let me know what you think about it. Whose side do you choose?